I finished Guardians of the Galaxy and I figured out some things that I wish I knew earlier to enjoy the game more. And I also learned some interesting tips about the combat that I want to share in this video. There are some pretty serious missable trophies and achievements if you're going for that platinum. And I will all share the length of the game, how long it took me to finish it and way, way more, of course, without any story spoilers whatsoever. If at any point you found the video helpful, then of course leaving a like would really help me out and let's go. It took me 15 hours to finish the main campaign, but I still need some collectibles. So I think you're looking at a 20 hour package if you want to do everything and if you know about that uh, missable trophy, which I will touch on in a moment. No, but overall it's super linear. You could compare it to Uncharted or Jedi Fallen Order, although those games had some more open levels too, which is totally not the case here. Guardians has multiple chapters that continue the story. It's basically a TV show with every chapter being a new episode. And I won't say how many for spoiler reasons, but these are all set on a specific planet. So while you have your ship, the Milano, where you can in between missions talk to the Guardians, where you then go to the cockpit to initiate the flight to the next destination, it's always set. So every chapter has its own planet, basically. You can revisit planets though, but you do that by the chapter select feature from the menu which takes you to the start of each chapter you've already completed uh, with the progress you had at that point during your first playthrough. But during chapter select you cannot save your game, so it's more for fun to go back and relive some of the moments, also the choices you make won't matter outside of the chapter select session. Not only the choices during the first time that you play that chapter, so during your first playthrough, are being saved and will have an impact on the chapters you play later. But you can use chapter select to find the outfits you've missed because once you unlock them, they are account wide, so can be used on any save. And there's also a trophy and achievement for getting all the outfits. I already did a showcase of all of them and will also share all the locations. If the video is already up, then I will share it at the end of this one. And some outfits just unlock after finishing the game and starting new game plus because yes, as I told you in previous videos, Guardian of the Galaxy has New Game Plus at launch, so you can immediately replay the whole game with all the abilities and crafting upgrades you unlocked. And you can then, for example, try the game also on a higher difficulty. We got easy, normal, and hard. You can change it, by the way, at any point in the game. And there are also different modifiers you can tweak, like the damage you deal, the damage you receive, and the cost of certain attacks, and also how long the abilities for the Guardians are on cooldown. So you can really mix and match and make the game as challenging or as easy as you want and now I want to share some tips on these abilities so every guardian has four of them one of which unlocks by just playing through the story actually near the end of the story you unlock them so you cannot miss them and that's immediately an interesting twist when playing new game plus because now you can use these powerful abilities that first unlocked at the end of the game in the older chapters which wasn't possible before you unlock the three other abilities through combat at the end you get points towards a bar which then rewards you with new abilities points which you can spend on the abilities you want and it's smart to divide those points between the guardians first because during combat you can only command a guardian to do one of their abilities per time after which all of them go on cooldown so you can basically only pick one and then have to wait before you can select an ability again so having all three with gamora unlocked early instead of spending points on other guardians it's not really smart. Speaking of Gamora, she has a nice single target hit first, but that won't be handy when fighting multiple enemies at the same time. So that's why unlocking her Shadow Strike is really great, because then she dashes between enemies who then all take damage. For Drax, she got a single target stagger, and of course stagger means that when the bar is full, you deal more damage to that enemy. So it's also nice to have an AoE attack with Drax when fighting multiple enemies. So that's why I would recommend the Pound and Pummel as the first Drax ability. And you can do a really cool combo with that. Not the first ability from Rocket. Like first he just has an explosive on a target. Dealing AoE damage to enemies around that target too. Now as the first ability you want to get for Rocket. I would recommend the Gravity Stack Grenade. Which pulls all enemies towards the target. So you have them all lined up. And if you then do that ability with Drax. Where he jumps on these enemies. 
you can very easily take them all out. And the Gamora Shadow Strike works very well in this combo too. I mostly just used the regular Entangled ability with Groot, which you unlock from the start to keep multiple enemies in one place. So he was the final guardian that got a second ability. And I would recommend Mammoth Grab for that better single target grab compared to the regular Entangled, which is again for multiple enemies, but less powerful. And holding enemies in place is by the way amazing in combination with the Fender the hammer ability from Peter Quill, which is my favorite Star-Lord ability. Here you stand still and unleash a ton of bullets onto the target, but the downside is that you stand still. So really make sure that you do this when the enemies are unable to do anything back. So yes, those are the abilities I would overall recommend you get first per character. But overall, you should not really worry because even before some of the final chapters, I had enough ability points to buy all abilities. So you will be maxed out anyways, likely even way before the end. But this order will help you a lot in combat in these early and mid game chapters. Just like some of the crafting upgrades, in the Milano there's a crafting table or sometimes on planets during chapters you will encounter one of these tables too and here you can spend your crafting resources on perks. It takes a bit longer to unlock all these perks though and it also really depends on if you search for these resources on each planet because often they are not on the main path so you have to get out of your way in order to get them. And one upgrade that really helps with that that I would get as soon as you can is the component localizer. After getting this, you will namely see an icon on the screen when you are close to crafting components. And they can use the visor to reveal where those items are. So unlocking this early, make sure that you do not miss a lot of these components early on and can get more perks throughout the game. I would only go for those health and shield increases because while you can revive the other guardians when they are down, when Star-Lord is down, you have to load a previous checkpoint. So having him be more tanky, it's totally nice. The magnet is also great for sustainability because during combat the enemies drop health and elemental bullets but like normally you have to go towards them to grab them. With the magnet they come towards you so you don't really have to worry about them during the fight. And the elemental guns are by the way great for extra damage and are sometimes needed for enemies with specific shields. So upgrades that go towards these elemental guns are pretty nice to unlock too. So before I tell you about that big missable trophy and achievement in Guardians of the Galaxy I want to touch on the dialogue choices first. One big tip when starting out that I wish I knew sooner is that you should not really worry about these choices. You can sometimes reload a checkpoint during a conversation and then you like start the conversation again so you can make different choices. But you're really only making the game less fun by having to listen to that same conversation again. Because the choice you make and the outcomes are more things that can turn out to be helpful during later missions. But even without those things, you can still easily complete these missions. Or they will trigger different dialogue or scenes. But as was already confirmed before the release, the ending of the game is the same for everyone. The chapters are, again, super linear. Just certain things that happen during the chapters might be different if you reacted differently before or freed someone or not. But it's all not too impactful. So experience the game like you want. Don't worry about the choices. Do what makes you feel right. And they can always replay and see some of the different scenes and outcomes through New Game Plus. However, there's one big missable trophy and achievements depending on the choice you make or basically the amount of money you have. And if you like do not correctly do this, then you have to replay the whole game get to that point in order to unlock that achievement. I don't want to spoil too much of course, but as already confirmed before launch, the Guardians have to pay a Vine, which happens like really really early on in the game, and you can also go to Nowhere. And on Nowhere there are shops where you can spend your money, and also there are ways to gamble those credits. Whatever you do, make sure that you at least keep 9000 credits during this chapter, and that's chapter 6 by the way, because you will need it in chapter 9 for a trophy which has you paid a fine. If you don't do this, again, you have to replay the full game. 
So I would recommend that you do not make that mistake. Oh, and totally hide the illegal goods from Rocket at the start of chapter two because it will come in handy later on, uh, trust me. And also good to note when you want to go for the platinum or all the achievements is that all the collectibles also have to be earned during your first playthrough because when going back to chapter reset, all the collectibles reset so i think the best way is just to play the game and then in new game plus find all these collectibles and power picks of course has an amazing guide up with where you can find them all and i will leave a link to that in the video description and if you have any questions about the game they can leave them in the comments down below i might answer them if i can subscribe for more guardians content a like on the video would of course really help me out and check out that big all outfits video and where you can find them by clicking on the screen or otherwise you will see our other all out this video. For now, I hope you have a great time with the game and goodbye.